Captain, do you have a moment? I be needing coin to set up the shipyard, Captain. The faster we have the needful gold, the sooner our ships will rule the waves. A nugget of your time, my friend. The men do sorely lack a place to do their wenching and debauching. With a little coin encouragement, I could have the old place Bristol fashion and a flower run fit to obliterate a good tar proper like. You done an old salt proud, Captain. Be making it worth your while too. Long Ben's bones curse me and I don't. Captain Kenway, a moment. I'll not play Duck and Drake with you, Captain. I need coin to build a little emporium. I'd be ever obliged. And a local shop would bring in many a useful ware for you as repayment. A good captain. He takes care of his men, yes. The sailors are un peu dissatisfied that there are no women of comfort here. I know just where to find them, but we need to build them a home. Thinking, Captain. Why not build ourselves a grand old bonfire by the beach? The lads would be a better cheer if they had such a spot to let loose. You savvy? Most welcome. Captain, we found a trove of nautical maps and ledgers and the like, scattered about the village. You'll find them sorted in the captain's quarters of the Jackal. Quality stuff. Nautical maps and ledgers? Might come in useful if we decide to build up a fleet of our own. Exactly my thinking, Captain. Have a look for yourself. Captain, it's a fine day for any kind of mischief. What's your feeling? I'll make no secret of wanting to see the British brought to heel. Take their gold and put it to use. 
ourselves, I'd be a happy man. Spoken like a true Welshman, Ade. <laughs> and what's your aim? Master Kidd hinted at a prize he was eager to show me down in Tulum. Quite some distance, mind, on the Yachtam Peninsula. You trust him to play it fair? I can't be sure. He has a way of picking away at my conscience that gives me pause. I should go see him soon. So long as we take some prizes along the way, I'm sure the crew will understand. I'll set a course for Tulum. the harpoons. Sharp lads. Look out! Starboard bow! Ah. Hold on! He's gonna sink us! Forward! Forward! Rope is holding! That's right! Tire yourself out! The beast is hurt! Gotcha! He slapped the rope! Anyone hear that? We have him on the line! Hold tight, lads! Yes! Success! He's loose, Captain! Watch in, Lombard Valley! Oh, oh, right. oh, oh, right. yeah. oh, yeah. Well done, Captain! Start to the wing.
to slugs! Ready to bark, sir! The captain there, too strong! They're firing mortars! Any sighting? He's a monster! 
A fine haul today, sir. Mentor bids us be ready for anything. The Templars men know our whereabouts now. Walpole. Isn't that right? English. Ah. He cleared us from the start. I he saw a ship pass this way. No sir, come here. Our Kabai warned us to be vigilant. The Templars have been closing in for well on a year. Indeed. The Templars make noise with their comings and goings. I've not heard a thing just yet. You can.
Tula, Ubus, Ubus, Ubuno, Ubus, 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 Jesus, Kate, you let me. We're on to something. I can feel it. Captain Kenway? What is the assassin, Duncan Walpole? Dead and buried. After he tried to kill me. We are not sorry to see him gone, but it was you who carried out his final betrayal. Why? Money was my only aim. Should I find comfort in that? You murdered our brothers and sisters in Havana. He has the sense, mentor. James tells me you treated with the Templars there. Did you see the man they called the Sage? Aye. Would you recognize his face if you saw it again? I reckon so. I must be certain. No. 
not a word. Come on. You walked me blind and backwards into this mess, kid. Who the hell was that jester back there? Atabai. An assassin. And my mentor. So you're all part of some daffy religion? We're assassins and we follow a creed, aye. But it does not command us to act or submit, only to be wise. Oh, do tell. I'd love to hear it. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. This is the world's only certainty. Everything is permitted. I like the sound of that. Thinking what I like and acting how I please. You parrot the words, but you do not understand. Don't get haughty with me, kid. The way forward's blocked. That's a door, I reckon. Aye. And there should be some way to open it. A mechanism somewhere. I like a capstan. Mm. Those blocks up there. Try moving them. Damn it. Easy, Kenway. This ain't like climbing ratlets. Those blocks up there <sighs> seem like they might move with a bit of weight. Them Templars have been chasing them. Until you came along and mucked things up, it was us chasing them. We had them running scared. They have the upper hand now. The door's mechanism seems to be broke. Let's find another way around. Follow on, man. Jump! Drawing breath. Enough to curse you with, kid. be a great treasure beyond. Treasure? Right. Whatever's waiting at the end of this path had better be worth my time. That'll depend on you. How's that? What I'm taking you to see may spin your head right round. I only hope you could take the shock of it. I can handle myself. This it then. The grand prize your mentor asked me to see. Looks nothing like the man they called the Sage, I'm sorry to say. Keep your trousers tied up. With one more riddle to solve. These statues are like the ones we've seen before. The pictures carved. There's pictures carved on the floor as well, but not of the same sort. There's a correspondence then. But what?
Jesus, that's him, the sage. But this thing must be hundreds of years old. Older still. You're certain it's him? Aye. It's the eyes that mark him. Did the Templars say why they wanted this sage? They drew some of his blood into this small glass cube. Like this one? Aye. They meant to ask him about the observatory too, but he escaped. Huh. We're finished here. What the hell did I just see back there? Jim! Quiet. The statue in the temple. Was that the man you saw in Havana? Spitting likeness, aye. It seems another sage has been found. The race for the observatory begins anew. Is that why we're whispering? This is your doing, Captain Kenway. The maps you sold to the Templars have led them straight to us. And now the agents of two empires know exactly where we operate. Leave this to me, Mentor. They have taken Edward's crew as well. I wonder what their lives are worth to him. Take this. You'll attract no attention. And take fewer lives. Darts on this one coming now. Quick. Quiet and effective, see? That's to be, don't it? Where else would the Dagos get it? They're pulling it out of the ground, aren't they? I was a Navy man once, but I found a better life sailing under a black flag. You could too, mate. Many thanks, but no forgiveness. Slaver have brought these soldiers. Orange Prince himself. Hold you!
plague and perish. If this ever happens again. I may thank you later, if you manage to live through this. Let me up, Cosmo, and face me like a soldier. Back your kids and run. Stop there, you. Prepare to bleed. <clears throat> Is it out of kindness you do this? Or give? Who's out there? See that mangy old codger? He's a Dutch slaver called Lauren's Prince. Living now like a king in Jamaica. Bastard's been a target for years. Bloody hell, we nearly had him. By God, you bravos are a cheery bunch, eh? All frowns and furrowed brows. Captain Kenway, you have remarkable skills. Oh, thanks, mate. It comes natural. But you're churlish and arrogant, prancing around in a uniform that you have not earned. Everything is permitted. Isn't that your motto? 
I absolve you of your errors in Havana and elsewhere. But you are not welcome here. Sorry, mate. Wish it were otherwise. Cheery bunch of mates you've got. You deserve scorn, Edward. Prancing about like one of us, bringing shame to our cause. And what is that? Your cause? To be blunt, we kill people. Templars and their associates. Folks who'd like to control all the empires on Earth. Claiming it's in the name of peace and order. Sounds like the Cass's dying words. You see? It's about power, really. About lording over people. Robbing us of liberty. That another message from one of your friends? Hi. I'll show you. I know you ain't exactly impressed by our creed. So would the sight of money make you more friendly to our ways? As ever. <laughs> then work these contracts around the West Indies for us, and we'll pay you. As simple as that. Now follow on. I have one last secret to share. How long have you been one of these assassins, eh? A couple of years now. I met Atabai in Spanish Town. And there was something about him I trusted. A sort of wisdom. Is all this his idea? His clan? No, sir. Assassins and Templars have been at war for thousands of years. All over the world. The natives of this new world had a philosophy like our creed for as long as they've been here. And when Europeans arrived, our group sort of... matched up. Cultures and religions and languages keep folks divided. But there's something in the Assassin's Creed that crosses all boundaries. A fondness for life and liberty. Sounds a bit like Nassau, no? <laughs> Close, but not quite. Here we are. Take that stone you discovered from the Mayan Stella. And put it there. That's one. Couple dozen more and you're in. What will this effort gain me? Respect for a start. From the men and women you put in danger here. And if that ain't enough... There's a treasure behind that door. Something many centuries old. I reckon if you made the effort... To find every last one of those, it'd be worth your while. So are you sailing back to NASA? When I have another contract there, right? Well, this is my home for now. Home. Haul in! Get off the wind! Stands up with a will! Thank you. 
Captain has the helm. Let out some sail! Loose all and trim sharp to the wind! Looks like loot. Enemies. Cops! Gallants! Royals! 
Hostile! He's all party like. To larboard, sir. Cast away. Still alive, I think.
Muzzle that duck, my drums! 